Okay, welcome to the series um, on solving systems of equations. And this one, this video, we're going to be talking about the graphing method. Okay, so we've we've probably talked about this already in that we're going to go over three types of ways of, well, I guess four uh, ways of solving a system of equations. The first one would be the graphing method. All right, now there are three different scenarios that could happen, and we talked about this in the previous video how many types of solutions we can get. So let's let's do an example. Let's see what happens uh, with this one. So the example I have would be y equals, let's do 2x plus 1, and then maybe eh, 4x minus y equals 1. All right, let's try this system here. All right, so the steps are pretty simple. Graph each line and see where they intersect, if they do, in fact, intersect. Okay, so this one's not too bad, the y equals 2x plus 1. This one, uh, we can use, we can graph using the intercept method, um, or we can put it into the slope-intercept form. It really doesn't matter. Okay, but let's graph the first one here y equals 2x plus 1. So based on what I see, it has a y-intercept of 1. So we'll go and plot 1. And then it has a slope of 2. So that means we move over 1, we're going to go up 2. So there's my next point. Move over 1, go up 2. There's my next point. Okay, so these are my three test, or I shouldn't say test points, but I mean these are three points on the line. And so just connect the dots to get that line. Now that we graphed the first line, let's go take a look at the second line. This one I'm going to do using the intercept method. So the way that we would do that would be you would cover up y, okay, so you'd basically ignore y, and solve for x. So what would x have to be? x would have to equal 1 fourth. So you would graph the point uh, 1 fourth comma 0. So that would put us uh, maybe like right there. And then the next point you would cover up x and solve for y. y would have to be negative 1. So we'd plot the point negative 1. All right, x is 0. All right, so again, that would be the intercept method. So 0, negative 1, it'd put us, I guess, like right here. And then we'll connect to these two. Okay, intercept method, we really only have to do two points, as long as you do the right points. All right. Uh, so double check these, make sure that they work. So let's connect the dots and see what we get. Okay, so let's label the points, or let's label the lines, sorry. So this is my first line right here, and that was y equals 2x plus 1. And then this line right here, Right, that was my line 4x minus y equals 1. So now, to solve this system, all right, would be the point that's on both of these lines. So where do they intersect? And so if you take a look, it's about right in here. Okay, You can, can see that, so I'm just going to darken in that line. And then, because the graphing method isn't the greatest, you'll have to make a guess. And my guess for that point would be a 1 comma 3. So now we just have to verify this by plugging it into these two lines to see if it works. Um, so here's our check. All right, so check x equals 1, y equals 3. All right, so for the first line, we get 3 equals 2x, which is 1, plus 1. All right, that checks because 2 plus 1 is 3. And then we get 4 times x, which is 1, minus y, which is 3. Does that equal 1? So that's 4 minus 3. Well, that's 1. So it checks out. All right, so there you go. There is the solution to a system of equations using the graphing method. Graph both lines, see where they intersect, uh, and then check your answer to make sure that it is correct. Okay, so there's one example. Let's try another one where there is no solution. Okay, next example we'll do solve the system 
y equals, I don't know, 3x minus 1. And how about 6x minus 2y equals 6? Okay, I think that's good. Okay, so again, we're going to solve this system using the graphing method, so we're going to have to graph each line. So let's take a look at the first one here, slope-intercept form. So we have a y-intercept of negative 1, so let's go down and plot negative 1, which is about right there. All right, so that's the point 0, negative 1. And then we have a slope of 3, which means you go up 3 for every one unit you go over. So go over one unit, up 3. That puts me right there. And then we'll do it one more time, 1 over, up 3, puts me about right there. Okay, so now we have three dots, and there they look like they're in a straight line, so let's connect those three dots to make the line y equals 3x minus 1. All right, let's label the line, so y equals 3x minus 1. All right, so let's move on to the second line. We get 6x minus 2y equals 6. All right, so this can be done using the intercept method. So when you cover up x, in other words, you would let x equal 0, you would solve for y, you can see that you're going to get negative 3, so 0, negative 3. And then you're going to let y equal 0. And when you let y equal 0, it takes away that term. So 6x equals 6, and you can see that x has to equal 1. All right, so let's plot those points. We got 0, negative 3. All right, so that's that's pretty far down. So let me extend this. Okay, it's not going to be the greatest extension, but it should do. Okay. So that would be negative 2, negative 3. So there's 0, negative 3. And then we'll do 1, 0. All right, so that would put us right there. All right, so let's see what happens when we connect these lines, or these two dots, to form the line. Okay, you might have seen the screen flicker a little bit. I, I did want to be a little bit more accurate, so I did re-graph the y-axis uh, so that it was, again, more accurate. And then I connected the the two dots that we graphed, so using uh, the intercept method. And you can see that these two lines, these are parallel. Uh, you can tell that they're not going to intersect. In fact, when you're probably doing problems from a math text or in class, if you can't see them intersect, you know, roughly in the area near the origin, you know, maybe go out to like 10 going up and 10 to the right, but we're probably not going to ask you to solve using the graphing method and then have the intersection way off at like x equals 2000. All right, that would just be mean. Um, so there you go. So the solution here would be no solution because these two lines do not intersect. Okay, so we got one more where uh, we have one where the solution was an actual point. We did have an intersection. Now we had one where there's no solution. Let's try one where there is infinitely many solutions. All right, let's try, where did it go? Uh, let's do negative 2x plus 12 equals 4y, and then a y equals negative 1 half x plus 3. Okay, uh, so take a look at this first equation here. It is not in slope-intercept form and it is not in the general form. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to come down here and I'm going to rewrite this. So instead of negative 2x plus 12 equals 4y, I'm going to, it seems easier uh, instead of solving for y to just put this in general form. So I'm going to bring the negative 4y over to this side. That's negative 2x minus 4y. And then I'm going to bring the 12 over to the other side by subtracting 12. And we get this. Okay, so this is my equation along with y equals 
negative one half x plus three. So let's graph these two lines. All right, so if we do the intercept method on this first one, okay, where if we let x equals zero, so let's x equals zero, that means we cover up this and we'd solve for y, and it looks like y would have to equal three. And then we would let y equal zero. And if you let y equal zero, you, that term goes away and you'd solve for x and it looks like x would equal six. All right, so let's plot those two points. So we got zero, three and six, zero. So one, two, three, four, five, All right on the arrow. All right, so let's connect those two dots. Then let's label the line. So y equals, or no, I'm sorry, it was negative 2x plus 12 equals 4. Well, that's the original line. Okay, uh, that's the original line from up here. All right, and then let's graph the second one. Now, this is in slope-intercept form, so this should be a little easier to do. It uh, looks like the y-intercept is 3. So that would be, again, the come down here, the y-intercept, 0, 3. So let's go, hey, it looks like it's going to be on that point right there. All right. All right, so that at least that's one intersection right there. All right, and then let's do the, well, if the slope is negative 1 half, what that says is go down 1, because rise over run, down 1 over 2. So down 1 over 2 looks like it let me choose a different color puts me about right there down one over two puts me right there down one over two can you see what's happening here it actually uh, what I'm gonna end up doing is I'm gonna form exactly the same line uh, but let's connect these two dots right here or I'm sorry these four dots to make uh, the second line okay so I formed the line using uh, a thicker a thicker line, but you can end up seeing that it completely uh, overlapped the first line. I'm still going to label this line now as y equals negative one half x plus three. But what you can see is that these ended up being the exact same line. And if they're exactly the same line, it means any single point that's on this line is considered a solution, which is why we would say that there are infinitely many solutions. It doesn't mean that any pair is a solution, like, for example, this number right here, 1, 1. That's not a solution. When we say infinitely many solutions, it, we, we, what we mean is any point that's on one of the lines will be a solution to the other line. Okay. Well, anyways, that's the end of solving a system of equations using the graphing method. In the next video, we will go over probably solving a system of equations using maybe the addition method, addition or substitution.